everyone, this is Sarah and welcome to my kitchen. On today's recipe I have for you guys is a homemade dairy product and the name is kurut. Kurut here is a very traditional Afghan, um, you can take this as a snack, it's like a street food as, as well. Um, you can find this in Afghanistan majority of the time, even in Persia as well. And uh, I'll show you guys a very easy homemade recipe. Uh, this dairy product is a dehydrated yogurt and uh, it's been used in many Afghan recipes. And uh, let's take a look at the ingredients and let's go to the recipe. The ingredients for kurut, we need here yogurt. So you need a plain yogurt. The higher the percentage of the fat is, the better flavor it will come. And you also need a cheesecloth. So this is the cheesecloth here I'm using. I found this from Walmart, so you can, uh, if you have Walmart close by, you, I'm sure you can find it. So let's go to the next step. I have my cheesecloth here. It's pretty long, so I made it into a two to three fold. And here I have a bowl under it. So what I'm going to do now is um, add the yogurt. All of this yogurt I'm going to add to the cheesecloth. Now I have all the yogurt in this cloth. So I'll show you guys two different ways. You must let the liquid or the water of this yogurt to be drained out. So you can either hang this on your fossil or you can, I'll show you another way to have all the water to be drained out. You can either hang this cheesecloth here and tie it up on your fossil here so all the water gets drained and you need to do this for three days or maybe a day longer. It needs to be nice and thick and, and dry. And I'll show you another way that you can also have all the liquid of this to be uh, drained out. So this is one tip, you can hang it on the few fossil. If you don't want to use your sink, you can use a dish that has a drainer in the bottom so all the liquid or the water of uh, this yogurt gets drained. So you can leave it on this for about three nights so it gets nice and dehydrated yogurt. So that's the second uh, tip for you guys. Alright guys, so here it is. It's been three days. Uh, it has reduced its size because all the liquid and the water has dried. And now I'm going to um, uh, take this out and put it in the bowl. So as you all know that I used a full box of um, yogurt to have this size of uh, krut to make. Now this is very uh, small size and in, um, in Farsi this is called chaka. Chaka is basically sour cream so this is how chaka looks like. And now I'm going to add uh, one teaspoon of salt to this and I need you to mix this very well with a spoon or using fork and mix everything together. So I have mixed this very well because I had the salt in here. Now what we're going to do is um, grab a portion up to you how size you want, small or medium or large. Um, you can take this and make it into a small shape of uh, round balls. Alright guys, so in your plate, you're going to take a teaspoon of salt, sprinkle all over, you might need more, and just spread it all over. The, the small shapes of uh, crude that I made, we're going to go ahead and run it all over. Just roll it all over so then all the salt gets everywhere. Continue with the rest of them. Alright guys, so I have here wax paper and I have the crude on top of it. This needs to get very dry, nice and hard, so it needs to get dehydrated. In order to do that, you need to keep this outside your balcony under the sun. If you don't have a sun, you can still leave it in your balcony in daytime and nighttime, keep it in your fridge. Continue doing this for a few days till you notice it's nice and hard. I'll let you guys know exactly how many days it is. So daytime, um, have it in your balcony somewhere and at night time you can keep it in your fridge and if you want on a top you can put a plastic paper because you're keeping it outside so you don't want dirt and all to get into this so just cover it with a plastic paper and keep it in your balcony and then night time keep it in the fridge alright guys so here is the kurut the kurut itself is ready it took me three days one full day I had it in the balcony because I had the sun so it took time to have this dehydrated and the rest of the two days I kept it in the fridge so if you don't have sun enough in your balcony outside wherever you live it's best to keep it in the fridge now just to give you guys some tips 
this is nicely dried and it's delicious you can see it here um, if you're gonna make lots of this kurut, I suggest you store it the rest in your freezer like put it in a nice um, uh, bag and um, take the air out and keep it in your freezer to freeze them but um, if you are gonna enjoy this because it's homemade uh, the remaining just keep it in your fridge other than that here's our delicious homemade kurut I hope you guys do get a chance to try this wonderful easy recipe and uh, do leave me your feedbacks give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe until next time thank you very much bye bye